In this video, I'll be showing how to make rope from natural fibers with a method that is thousands of years old. Most likely, it predates written history entirely. Because of its common availability, I'll be demonstrating this rope making method with grass. Once I've collected a small pile, the first thing that needs to be done is to divide it in half and rotate one section before recombining them. This will ensure that as I make my rope, I will have an even distribution of strands that face opposite directions, which helps the rope to be a consistent strength. Now to begin, I take a small handful of my grass and knot it at one end so it stays together. The remaining side of the bundle is divided into two even sections. With each of these sections in either hand, I begin twisting them both in the same direction, in this case clockwise, though that doesn't really matter as long as whichever direction they're twisted is the same for both sides. This motion causes the two strands to wrap around one another, instantly beginning to form the start of our rope. The process is pretty quick, so it doesn't take long to near the end of our starting material. To make rope that's longer than the grass itself, a new handful of strands are spliced into the tail end before it runs out. By simply twisting this new grass right alongside the old, the splice created is very strong, and we now have longer tails that we can continue to spin our rope from. With additional splices, every time the tails on the end of the rope start to get short, there's no limit to the total length we can create. Once we've created enough rope for whatever task is at hand, it can be prevented from unraveling by tying one more knot in this far end. The rope is now ready for use, but we can make it look nicer by trimming off anything that sticks out from where a splice was made. Now the strength of this rope depends on its diameter and the skill with which it was made. With a little practice, a rope of this diameter should hold about 50 pounds, maybe more, and larger diameters can be made simply by using more grass or by twisting multiple ropes together. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. You can watch my previous videos in this outdoor series on my channel page now. Otherwise, leave me a comment. I always enjoy hearing from you. Thanks for watching.